Welcome to episode 38 of Tools in the Hall. Knife edition. As promised, I want to go over a brand new shipment of knives that just came in. Some are brands that I have heard about, seen rave reviews about, have had customers tell me about and ask me about, but I've never had the chance to sell them myself. But one of my firearm distributors carries them, my tool distributors don't. So I bought a bunch of new stuff from Buck, from Kershaw, and from Cobra Tech. So we're gonna go over all the new stuff and it's right in time for Christmas because these things make terrific gifts. If there's a hobbyist or a hunter or someone who just likes collecting high quality, elegant knives, this is a great selection here with a good cross section of stuff that everybody would like. So let's dig right in. And the first one up is the Buck Ranger. This one comes in a black leather sheath with a, um, with a snap closure on it. This to me is the quintessential buck knife. Beautiful dark wood handle with brass bushings on either end. It's a regular folding knife with a lock back. And if you want a good, utilitarian, elegant knife, this is a terrific, terrific choice. Wonderfully sharp right out of the box. This guy right here is gorgeous. Terrific Christmas gift for yourself or someone else. Nice high quality leather sheath. The knife is made in the US, the sheath is made in Mexico. So we're keeping it local to North America. I like the fact that they're manufacturing in the US. The next buck is the Woodsman. Again, nice black leather sheath with a snap closure. This is a fixed blade of all the ones I'm going to show you today. This is the only fixed blade I have. All the others are folders or flippers or I'll show you the front extracted knives too. But this one is very elegant with a nice curve to the handle, easy to grip with a four inch blade. Terrific for general cutting, whittling. Fits in the hand perfectly. You can see the butt of the handle extends to the one end of your hand and the tang up here is easy to hold. And again, I'll show you, it goes in the sheath easily and it snaps closed. The Buck Woodsman. Those are the two from Buck that I have. I have multiples of each, but those are the two different styles from Buck that I bought. And I have two styles from CRKT that have always been popular, but difficult for me to get a hold of. That's why I was happy that my firearm distributor had these because my tool distributors are all out of them. The first one is probably the sexiest knife you'd ever want to lay your eyes or hands on. It's the, the CRKT CEO Flipper. There's a few different versions of this knife. This is the one with the black textured grip and it flips open with a flipper here. And this opens just smoothly and beautifully. Long, elegant, slender blade. Very light. I mean, you don't even know you're holding it. I mean, is this the sexiest knife you've ever seen? Tell me it's not. It's really popular for a reason. That's why they're always on back order. This one has a liner lock on it there. So you just move that out of the way and fold it to close it. Has a pocket clip. We'll go in your trouser pocket. And you won't even know you're wearing it because this thing is so slender. The 
The next CRKT is the Crossbones. There are a few different sizes of this one. They have a larger one called the Jumbones, but this is the regular Crossbones with a pocket clip. And again, this one's a flipper. Flip it to open it there. And the blade snaps open and you have nice rubber inlays all along the grip, easy to hold. And with the sleek and elegant curvature, feels really good in the hand. This one is also a liner lock. The lock is there. And I like this one because the lock is a little more pronounced than what you'd see on other liner locks. So it's easier to unlock, especially if you're like me and you got bad hands. You don't have good sensation because I have carpal tunnel syndrome. So having something like that benefits me personally. And I know a lot of other guys are in the same boat. This one is from Kershaw. This is their salvage. And the body on this one has a glass filled nylon overlay. And that means that they infuse it with like fiberglass so it's resistant to solvents and other chemicals. And this is a flipper, but it's just an assisted flipper. So it has a spring loaded mechanism in it. And I'll be honest with you, I, with, my, with my horrible hands, I have a hard time flipping this thing open because the, the spring is kind of strong. So I have to assist my assist while I, <laughs> while I bring the blade open. Um, but if you have normal hands, this won't be too difficult for you to open. This is a smaller bodied knife with a three inch blade and it's great and compact with a nice stone washed finish on it. You can see that that's not the same polished finish that you saw on the other knives. There's a small, a slight texture to it. So it has a different look about it. Very light, small, easy to put in your pocket with a pocket clip on it. This one's also a liner lock and the liner lock is right there. And this one is also a little bit larger than some others. So it's easier to close if you got hands like mine. That's it for the conventional fixed blade and folding blades. The next batch of knives are ones from Cobra Tech. And I've been dying to get these in because they're very popular. I see a lot of guys carry these and I was always kind of jealous because I didn't have access to them, but through um, Cobra Tech directly. The problem with that is I, I signed up to be a dealer with them, but their minimums were very high for me to get into. And I'm not a high volume dealer, so I couldn't afford to. I'm glad that my firearms distributor is carrying these because now I can get in the market with these knives and, and compete favorably. The first one is the FSX Gray. And if you're not familiar with Cobra Tech's knives, these extend and retract with a spring-loaded mechanism right out the front. This is the gray body one, has a glass breaker on the butt, pocket clip on the, on the other side. And this button here, you push up to extend the blade and then you pull back to retract the blade. They're very fast, spring-loaded, easy mechanisms to work because it's such a beautiful, large uh, push and pull button on it. No problem getting these things open or closed, even with funky hands like mine. This is the dagger style that's got a double-edged blade on it. They have a version of this that has serrations, but in my experience, most guys don't really like the serrations, so I opted to go with the smooth blade on these. And this is just a beautiful, elegant knife. And you can see how the button here is on the edge. The two others I'm gonna show you have the buttons on the flat which is kind of cool because you hold it a little bit differently. Might be more comfortable, but I think it's strictly preferential. To me, this feels really good. And when you pull it in to, to retract the blade, again, nice and smooth, very fast mechanism on these. You can't even see the thing open and close. These come with, all the Cobra Tech ones I'm gonna show you, come with a nylon sheath that closes with a buckle. And then they have a Velcro belt loop here. So you could adjust that to the size of your belt, close the loop, and you're good to go. The next one is the Blue King Cobra. This gorgeous anodized blue body with almost a holographic look to this carbon fiber inlay that they have. I don't think you can see it on the video, but it's kind of cool looking. Has a belt clip, or rather a pocket clip, 
and a glass breaker on it. And this is the one that has a button on the flat, which is kind of nice because you hold it a little bit differently. And when you open these and close them, they're a little easier to get to, I guess, maybe if you have, you know, a certain, certain um, preference of how you hold your knife. So it's really strictly up to you how you like it. But this one has what they call the drop point here, which it's a curved blade. That's a drop point. And that, the anodized body is just gorgeous on these. And the last one, same model as the blue one I just showed you, but this one is the gray King Cobra. Same features, same design, glass breaker, pocket clip, carbon fiber inlay, and the button is in the same location as the other one. Same blade, this is a drop point. They have these in Tonto blades, which is the ones that have the angle here and then a straight blade. They have these in serrated and non-serrated versions as well. Again, I usually go for the non-serrated. And if, if I have a choice between the Tonto point and the drop point, I usually go with the drop point because I think it's a, um, unless you have a specific need to be maybe, you know, cutting flat with a Tonto blade, then the drop point seems to be a little more utilitarian and a little more universally universally um, enjoyed and accepted. So those are the ones I go with, but you know, there's lots of different versions of these. And this go around with this distributor on knives, um, I put about $1,300 into the order. It's all I could afford at the time. So there'll be more of these, but for now, this is a selection that I got and I can't wait to get on the truck just before Christmas. If you're seeing this video, these knives have been on the truck for a week, uh, two weeks. So we're probably right up against Christmas on this. Just know that I put these on the truck on December 13th, which is when I'm shooting the video. So these will go out uh, soon enough. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if by the time you see the video, they're all gone. Knives tend to sell very quickly on a tool truck, especially nice models like this. These are a little more elegant, a little higher end. Uh, and I, I think that for people who really enjoy giving nice gifts, again, to themselves or someone else, who like a more elegant, sophisticated knife, the CRKT and Buck ones are right up your alley. If you like something that's a little more utilitarian with a cool factor, Cobra Techs are perfect for you. And the Kershaw, I think, hits that nice middle ground with a nice utility knife that's not very expensive. All these knives have lifetime warranties. The one thing to know about exercising the warranty is with the Cobra Techs, they come with a registration card. You must submit the registration card to validate the warranty, all right? So as long as you do that, you are covered for the life of the knife. Just don't abuse them. Don't use them as pry tools because they won't cover broken tips on these. These are cutting tools, all of them. They are not pry tools, so please use them as they are designed. Take care of them, lubricate them, keep them sharp, and they will give you a lifetime of service because they're so nicely made. Even if you have problems with CRKT, for example, they're very good about covering everything under warranty except for the blade tip. But, you know, I've, I've replaced pocket clips and pocket clip screws for folks. Uh, sometimes the screws back out. And, you know, that's, that's okay. But uh, you might do yourself a favor, back the screw up, put a little Loctite in there and tighten it back down. If you don't, though, and the screws fall out and the pocket clip gets lost, CRKT does cover that. So there's not generally a problem with it. It just takes time to, you know, file the claim with them and, and order it and have it come in. And I can do that for you with the Cobra Tech ones. It's specific to you because you have the product registration card. So you're going to have you're going to have to be the one to make sure that you follow through with that process. But other than that, they're dream to own. Uh, the Cobra Techs are great because you, you can use a sheath or the or the pocket clip and stuff in your pocket. They have a few different sizes. Of these particular models, I got the ones that I thought were the middle of the road ones that I see most people carry who carry the Cobra Tech knives. The cases they come in are very nice. The, the Cobra Tech comes these hard plastic cases with these substantial latches. They have four of them, one, two, three, and four. You open the latches and then they have a nice foam lining in them like this top and bottom, and here is your registration card. So when you get this card, the thing to know about it is this number right here. 
that's the that's the number you're going to have to give them to register the knife and you can do that right online on their website so don't fail to do that because you want to validate your warranty and you don't want to be stuck you know years down the line something goes wrong with the knife and you never registered it and you're out of luck so take care of that as soon as you get the knife and you'll be good to go I hope that you've enjoyed seeing these knives. I really was looking forward to going over this with you. I've been anticipating getting this shipment now for a couple of weeks. There was an issue with UPS originally. They were due to ship to me last week and then something got delayed and they reissued the delivery date of yesterday and then that got delayed. They reissued the delivery date of today. So this is when they came in and I jumped right on this as an opportunity to, show, to shoot this video and show you these knives. So please leave in the comments your experiences with these knives or other ones like them. What are your favorites? What ones do you think are worth avoiding? What's your experience with quality and functionality? And what do you use your knives for on a regular basis? And tell me too, what's your everyday carry choice for a knife? It'll be fun to have that conversation and others. So please leave the comments. I really do appreciate your involvement. And in the future, we're going to have some cool videos coming down for Christmas time. And into the new year, we're going to continue, of course, with our Tools in the Hall series. And we'll have some breakout videos on some repair procedures for locks and drawer slides on a Snap-on toolbox. So do me a favor. Click down here now to subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, use a tool. Don't be one.